everyone, I'm Sean Frangella, and in this Photoshop quick tip, we're gonna talk about the new libraries option added in Photoshop CC 2015. So here I have this Photoshop file with a bunch of layer styles that I've added. And a big thing they're pushing with CC 2015 is this libraries option, which if I go to window libraries, this will come up, as well as just everything being connected and working across different computers or spaces or offices. So maybe as I'm working on this, I know that this crazy setting with a bunch of colors and shadows is my theme across a big campaign that's being used on a lot of projects and location and people working in all sorts of different offices. What I can do is change things like these layer styles or characters or even foreground and background colors in my new libraries panel. And if you're signed into Creative Cloud 2015, this will all work and it'll be on your account. And what we can do is click to add this layer style as an example. And now it saves that. So say I had a new document with some new text. I have that in my library and I can just double click and it'll add it to that. And the useful thing of this is if you are on a different computer, it's now stored and will be there. And it's storing all this way up out in the cloud. So you can get a link to this and send it to other people too. If we wanted to send this out to the team very quickly, we could right click and go to share a link and it's going to open up your browser, show you where that is. You could create a public link, right click, copy that link, or even type in email addresses and send that. And then people can just download this super awesome layer style setting. And you have that across multiple computers and locations all at once. So there's a lot you can do with this new library setting. And it's a really useful way if you're working across different computers or a big team in different locations. It's a, it's a really useful new feature. And if you want to learn more about other new features, you can check out some of my other quick tip videos on additional Photoshop features by clicking on any of those buttons. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get even more motion graphics, Photoshop, 3D animation, and VFX tutorials sent every week. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella if you want to ask questions or interact on the social networks. And if you want to help keep my tutorials going, you can check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella where you can get all sorts of bonus content by supporting my show. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.